Markets a problem. How big a problem? Well, the state's insur insurance commissioner estimates that the number of catalytic converter thefts have increased 4,000% in just the last couple of years. So legislators admit there's a problem, but they need some help figuring out how to solve it. It takes only a second. And is done at day or night, even in someone's driveway. Catalytic converter thieves hit private vehicles and commercial ones too, even the King 5 South Bureau news van, along with vehicles at an Edmonds church last spring where State Representative Cindy Ryu worships. Thieves hit a church parking lot last year, and within minutes, all three of our church vans we used to pick up elderly service attendees were vandalized. Representative Ryu has proposed a bill for the State Patrol to head up a catalytic converter task force to identify ways to stop the theft of the converters which contain precious metals and are usually located relatively unprotected on the undercarriage of vehicles. Repairs can cost thousands. Even when insurance covers a part of these expensive replacements and repairs, these losses hit consumers in the pocketbook once again when their premiums rise. Auto wreckers and metal recyclers say existing laws, thanks to a string of past copper thefts, make it hard to trade in stolen items for cash. But sites like Craigslist have lots of offers to buy and sell. One idea is to engrave vehicle identification numbers on the parts, making them easier to identify. But auto wreckers say that won't help. But one of the reasons we know a catalytic converter is stolen when it shows up at our auto records is when the person trying to sell it cannot identify the VIN number. So you do not want to give them the VIN number by engraving it on the part. As in cities, that each of you represent a catalytic converter theft is skyrocketing in Des Moines as well. Finding solutions would be the goal of the task force, along with identifying who's buying the stolen catalytic converters. We need to figure out where it's going, uh, these uh, precious metals. Is it all being put in containers and shipped across the Pacific? Uh, who's behind all of this? This original bill calls for this task force to present findings and suggestions, potential solutions to lawmakers and the governor by October of 2023. But in the meeting this morning, a couple of folks said, look, this is a problem now. We need solutions sooner. And it sounds like they may bump that uh, deadline up a little bit. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.